Nurse Nancy, welcome. Welcome to the party. Have a spear sandwich. everybody to seven days to die alpha 21 i am an old guy gaming and uh, this is what i came up with for our horde night seven base so um let's uh let's actually jump down here for a second 
give you a little bit better view of what's going on here. As you can see, I'm in the cathedral. Um, cause I, I got to thinking, you know, let's, let's maybe see if we can do something with the cathedral tower. So basically what we have going on here is a big, huge, uh, stairwell with a ladder on the long part. Uh, but it's not, it's not normal stairs, it's normal blocks, which means the zombies have to stop and jump up on each block, which is going to, you know, bring them to us slowly. Um, the, the bottom, uh, supports, I have upgraded cobblestone up to four blocks up and then, and then the surface of the stairs, but the parts, you know, where the zombies are not likely to touch. Um, I, I left those wood for now. Uh, if, if I continue to use this base, I'll upgrade those later, but I just didn't have the time nor the resources to get all of that done. Um, yeah, so the the thing is, is I'm not 100% sure if they're going to actually path up here. Um, so I figured, all right, well, let's just try it. And if it doesn't work, then we spend a nice, quiet Horde Night 7 up here at the top of the bell tower uh, where the Horde won't really be able to do anything to get us. Um, but what I really like about this is we got this nice hole here that we can very easily attack through, you know, with the spear. And of course, I also have the bow. I've got uh, 307 arrows made up. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? We got um, 10 bandages. We got some coffee. We got five grilled meat, five red tea, vitamins, painkillers, honey if we get infected. So I think we're in pretty good shape. Um, all, all things considered, uh, we have our blue spear. I found one more, um, a bow magazine in a mailbox, which allowed me to then to make the level two bow. I think you already knew that we got all of this stuff. I did find a yellow stone ax in a car. I was using an orange one and, uh, we've killed, uh, several zombadoodles. Let's see here. Where are we at with that? Uh, we've, we've killed a total of 133 uh, zombie. So I probably killed, oh shoot, I don't know, 30 to 30 to 50 of those just in the last couple days off camera as I've been going around gathering resources. Um, so let's see, we also have a couple of points. So I've decided I'm just going to keep pumping perception, um, and to, up to seven so that we can get, um, the fourth level of, of spear, which is Lanceman. And then after that, um, I, I, I might do this later, but after that, we're going to start maybe looking at some other things that we need to start specking into. Um, but we're just going to take perception all the way to seven, because then that's going to let us get to level four, um, in, you know, most of these other things. In fact, yeah, we could get to level five in salvage operations just by having seven. <clears throat> I am very also... Uh, also very interested, I'm trying to say, uh, in Penetrator 2, because this does count towards uh, spears. It says you find weak spots in targets armor with spears, archery, and other specialized ammo. So uh, I'm, I've always been a big fan of Penetrator, so at some point, I'm not sure if we'll do that as the very next thing, but at some point uh, we'll be working on that too. So here again, the plan is if the Horde does not path up here, we will be perfect, <clears throat> excuse me, perfectly safe in this tower. Um, I have this hardened chest that's 1,000 million hit points <laughs> that I could work on uh, banging. And then for Horde Knight 14, I'll have to remove this setup and, you know, put something else up here that will get them to path up here. Uh, but I'm hoping it'll work because if it does, then this is, this is just like the ideal thing to, you know, to fight through here. Um, so we'll see, you know, how it goes. This is, by the way, this is cobblestone or equivalent to cobblestone in terms of its strength. Um, and I do have 290 cobblestone. Uh, we got wood, we got stones, you know, all the stuff that we need to uh, repair. Okay, so that's pretty much all I have to update you guys on. So I will bring you back in just a little under an in-game hour, and we'll see if this is actually going to work. See you in a bit. Oh, I forgot about something. Uh, when I was up here looting, I didn't... There's an actual weapons bag here that glitched in the floor that I missed because it's glitched in the floor. Um, so I figured I would wait until we started the episode to see what's in it. So let's see what's in it. Nice. 
and another uh, bow hunting magazine and an upgraded pipe machine gun. I don't have my pipe machine gun with me because I have I'm out of uh, 7.62 ammo for it. I had to use it um, <clears throat> when I got ganked by a couple of zombies. One being a soldier zombie. Uh, but nice, we got a, a little upgrade for our pipe machine gun once we can get some ammo for it. And a sledgehammer piece too. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, they're just about ready to come. I've just been sitting here banging on this uh, chest here while I've been waiting. I'm going to take another piece of meat. I've got a bunch of meat cooking up back at the base. Uh, grilled meat, so. Okay, let's see what happens. It's that. That's just a little too far away for me to see. Oh, you know what? Something else just occurred to me. I hope I'm not too so high up that they can't detect me up here. That could be a problem. I didn't even think about that. That would mean we couldn't use, we wouldn't be able to use this on future horde nights either. I mean, we're not that high up in the air. Well, let's just see what happens. Yeah, I think damn it. I honest honest to god, guys, I didn't even consider the fact that we might be too high up. I it didn't even occur to me. Uh I don't even think they can detect us. Uh the thing is though is I don't have any other uh alternative here at this at the moment. Oh, that's too bad, man. That's really too bad. I can see one or two of them meandering around down there, barely. But yeah, they uh, they don't even know we're here. Ah oh, shit. Uh oh. That's not good. I just got an error. Uh, I wonder if it's because we're too high up in the Horde Knights. Doesn't know what to do about it. Well, shoot. All right, let's let's try something. Um. I'm going to punch a hole through the wall. Let's see if I hear something. Um, yeah, so I'm going to punch a hole through this wall, put a door here, and put a temporary bridge out, out to here uh, just to see if, A, they detect us, and if they'll... Well, if they do detect us, they, they should. They should path up here. So we might have to, excuse me, we might have to try and bait him a little bit. But if they don't detect us, then it simply means we're too high up and we can't, we can't use this as an option. But here again, I just, and that never even occurred to me. <laughs> that would be too high up. Oh, man. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see if this, if, if we can make something work with this. Let's crouch. Let's see if I can get a... Okay, we'll put those blocks there. We're going to put in a door. Right there. But these blocks won't stay here permanently. Okay, so let's just stand here for a minute. It's hard for me to see because my, my camera light is in my eyes. I don't even see any zombies down there. Let's walk across the tight wire here. Oh, there's a zombo. They're running. Are they gonna come up the path? Ooh. Yes, they're come they're coming up the path. Okay. Alright, so let's um <laughs> let's get back over here and see if they continue to, to come up here. I don't know if they will or not. You know, the, 
the few that we did draw up here are higher up now, so they probably still detect us. Whether or not they still think they have a path to us, though, I'm not sure. Let's just see what happens. Come on, boys. Come play. Don't bing on stuff. Climb up the ladder. All right, look at that. Oh, he can hit through there pretty good. We gotta remember that we uh, we have plenty of reach on here. We don't have to stand too close to this thing. Nice. Okay, so this we we kind of had to prime it, I guess. <laughs> we had to prime it to get it to work, but now it's working. Oh, this is awesome, man. We can hit him down low, hit him up high. Question. Oh, the question is, are more going to come, though? We might have to keep going out there and baiting them. Hey, but at least we got a little bit of action, right? Okay, I'm going to pop another one of those. And that'll, uh, that'll give us a tiny bit of health. We're not really in that bad of shape. Okay, let's go back out. They're coming back up. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> this might actually work after all, you guys. This might actually work after all. I thought this was uh, going to be a, an epic fail, but turns out that uh, maybe it won't be an epic fail. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> he fell off all the way. <coughs> That's funny. A um, little tight wire thingy is... um. You know, if there's one Zeke, then they can run across it. But if you if they get a bunch on there trying to come across it, ooh, stand back, OG. If you know <laughs> you get a bunch of them trying to come across at the same time, then they'll push each other off of it because it's pretty precarious, you know. All right, let's take a small bandage, and I got to be more careful because I don't want to get hit. All right, let's take a look and see. They're coming. I don't see anybody else. Well, there's somebody running down there. There's a spider zeeker. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to come up here. Here he comes. I can't believe this is working, you guys. This is awesome. <laughs> I kind of thought maybe it wouldn't, but it's working now. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so I got big plans for this place for future Horde Nights. Um... I mean, if this whole setup continues to work well, you know, we, we could just upgrade this to to concrete and then eventually steel. Um, but what I was thinking was, is is make a little... A, 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 whoa, what was that? <laughs> the spider just jumped all the way off. Oh, that's hilarious. When he got to the ladder, he jumped off. Um, I was thinking about making, you know, a little bit more of an obstacle course for them to, to get up here. But, I mean, I don't know. This actually works pretty darn good. Okay. Here comes... Okay, here they come. It's... it's you know, one nice thing about this design... We're, we're not going to... We're not going to get a ton of XP, which is a downside to it for sure. Um, but it's, you know, it's just nice and safe and they're not all coming at you, you know, at a big rush all at once. And <laughs> Bo just fell off again. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, he, he must be down on the other section now. But he can't get up here because there's a, if he goes down there, he's going to fall all the way down into the church. It looks like maybe he did. Nurse Nancy, welcome. Welcome to the party. Have a spear sandwich. Here comes Yo. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Ronnie McDonnie. I thought 
Oh, I thought he was going to fall all the way down. Okay. Yeah, um, I wonder if... You know, there's a ledge down there that they could fall on and then potentially could start beating on the building. So we might have to see if we can do something about that for future Horde Nights. Someone coming? Yep. So a nice, slow-paced, safe, kind of cool Horde design. Nothing, you know, it, it's, like I said, it's not going to earn us a ton of XP, but... Hey, you know, it'll help us survive. That's the important thing. All right, so bow went down. And looks like maybe another bow is coming back up. And then there's a, a one further down that way, too. Okay, come on up, guys. <laughs> there goes Nurse Nancy. Hey, I thought Bo was coming up the stairs. He must have... He must have fallen off or something. Here comes a Steve. Okay. So there's someone coming, but they're really far down. So uh, let's keep banging on this. See if we can get this open by the end of the night. That'll be our that'll be our um, prize end of the night or night prize. We won't get a ton of XP, but we might get some decent loot. Um, this could be decent XP later on, though, as the hordes get bigger. This is just Horde Night Seven. Horde Night Seven in vanilla is always not really all that substantial. How'd you like your fall, Nurse Nancy? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's stand over here just so we can encourage them to continue pathing. I don't see anybody else coming. It is possible that we killed them all. Okay, well, let's finish getting this opened up, and then I'll walk all the way back out there again and see what happens. You know what occurred to me? I, I have, I think, like seven lockpicks back at the base, but the reason I didn't bring them here is because, again, I'm still in Undead Legacy mode. If you're not familiar with Undead Legacy, you can't open, <clears throat> you can't open a chest like this in the early game, even if you do have lockpicks. You also have to have you know, a high enough lock picking skill or you have to eat a jailbreakers. And I forgot this is vanilla because I could I could have actually tried tried those on this chest, but oh well, it's alright. We can save those lock picks for other things. Let's eat our last piece of meat. And that should should tide us over till morning. We only have two more hours, a little less than two hours left. Let's see what we get. Look at all that stuff. Wow. Very nice. Okay. Tools digest. We have a beaker that we'll hang on to. We've got a double pocket mod that we can put uh let's put it on the chest piece um oh by the way i found um i found the urban combat or one of the the original books that make you unencumbered at night so if you're wondering why my um inventory is completely opened up that is why okay that was a nice find uh, let's just read this now, and then maybe we'll go after it in the morning. Uh, plus, it'll free up a slot for us. Beautiful. Okay. All right, let's hop over here and see if we can determine what the heck going on. If I if if this is going to be a more permanent scenario, I might uh, put a couple hatches here. 
Okay, let's be really careful on the tight wire. <laughs> I had a little game freeze there for a second, so it freaked me out. Um, while we're out here, let's just do a couple repairs. We need to. Yeah, actually, that's all in pretty good shape. Yeah, we might have actually killed the horde. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we did, because they're not, you know, like I said, they're just not that big on night seven. Let's go down a little ways without... Okay, spider zombo is coming. Yeah, I think putting a couple hatches down there is the way to go for that. See if he can manage to get all the way up here before he jumps all the way off. I think he jumped off when he got to the ladder. There's another Zombo coming behind him, too. There he is. Good job, Spider Zombo. Have a spear sandwich. Nice. Yep, we got, uh, looks like two more Zeeks coming. Beautiful. More customers. What would we like to see? She's feral. Ouch. A little too close there. It was tough, man. Nice. Okay, we, we need two points. We need to accumulate two points to get Perception 7. So we're just going to have to sit on that point. I thought there was a, a second one. Maybe they fell off. Yeah, there is another one coming. So they're just down there a little ways. Wow, she thumped us good, man. Look at that. I think we were at full health. Ooh, scary. All right, let's take advantage. Fortunately, we didn't, we didn't get any criticals out of the deal. Talk these off while we wait. All right, well, while we're waiting, let's make a couple hatches. Okay, so we... I think I want these to go upside down. So let's um, do advanced rotation. Uh, that means it's going to open to the left, I think. This other one to stick. Oh, perfect. Okay. Except for it's kind of tricky open this, opening this other. Oh, oh yeah. We, what we want to do is we want to close this other one first, and then that one. Okay. And I'll upgrade those hatches too. He's over the side. Oh, doesn't let us up upgrade it to wood. Any more wood level? Okay, so we'll have to make iron hatches to upgrade them. So we'll do that later. Why don't we give our friend a bleed effect to start this party? Well, okay, there you go. That was easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, so someone else is coming. What I'll probably do too later is I'll probably light the ramp, like put torches or whatever along the sides of it, so we can I can see better. Um you know, when the enemies are coming up. Hey, it's morning. Excuse me, guys. We've had a long day in real life. Ugh. Okay, we survived. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with uh, 
with how this little horde base turned out. It's not, like I said, you know, it's not an XP farm by any stretch of the match. At least not right now. It could be potentially later on with the bigger hordes. I don't know. We'll have to see. No, don't hit stuff. Just come up here. Climb up the ladder. You can climb up the ladder backwards if you want. Okay, let's do a, a bleed. I should probably be doing that more often, but, you know, we're getting to the point where we're two and three shotting most zombies with a spear now anyway. And, yeah, he's dead. All right, that is it. Successful horde night, ladies and gentlemen. Yay us. There's a, a spidey down there. Um. Okay, so we still... How? F uh, I guess we... Yeah, we probably have a little bit of time left. So I'm going to edit some of this down. Um, where is the treasure? Uh, oh, you know what? I forgot. I got stuff in the chest that I got to go get to. I completely forgot about that. Um, let's go Taylor's treasure map. Toggle it active. And it is, wow, it's, a, it's almost all the way back where we started. But, you know, that's not that far, really. It's kind of far. But it's not that far. Um, yeah, why don't we do it? Why don't we run out there and do Taylor's treasure map? But, um, I will meet you guys out there. Um, I'll keep the recorder going in case something crazy happens. But we're pretty much good to go for the next Horde Night. I don't think we really need to to do anything other than maybe do some more upgrading. And like I said, uh, maybe try and get some lights on this this tower here. I think I'm actually overshooting, if that's even possible with this bow. Yeah, shot him in the ass. <laughs> Doesn't even know where we are. I don't know where he went. Okay, let's go. Uh, all right, I'll meet you guys out at the treasure. I'm just going to drop a couple things off, get some our food topped off, that sort of thing.